This video of bison appearing to flee from Yellowstone National Park has gone viral over the past week, almost 200,000 views, prompting fears and concerns that animals are, quote, running for their lives because they fear an eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano. This has prompted articles, even in some mainstream publications, such as this Epoch Times report, Yellowstone volcano eruption in 2014. Some believe animals are fleeing park, see it as an alert. Now, although Yellowstone is hit by 3,000 small earthquakes a year, Sunday's 4.8 magnitude earthquake caused some consternation because it's the strongest earthquake to hit the area in over 30 years. So are bison and other animals fleeing the Yellowstone National Park area because somehow they sense that the big one, the eruption of the supervolcano that would completely decimate most of the United States, is coming. Well, a lot of the evidence is predicated on one claim, which is featured in this Epoch Times article that nearly one quarter of the northern elk herd at Yellowstone National Park are missing according to biologists. But if you actually check back into the archives, you will realize that this report about uh, an acclaimed elk herd in Yellowstone declining one quarter missing, you will find that it's from 2011. It's three years old. So they've misappropriated a three-year-old report and applied it to current concerns in light of this video of bison appearing to flee from Yellowstone. So there appears to be no connection whatsoever. Now, we know that it's basically a scientifically established fact now that animals can predict earthquakes in advance. This footage was taken before Sunday's 4.8 magnitude earthquake, so it could just represent the bison fleeing from the imminent quake and may not represent that the end of the world is coming. Which is not to say that genuine concerns about the Yellowstone supervolcano are not without justification. Back in December, we learned that the supervolcano, the magma chamber below Yellowstone, is actually 2.5 times bigger than previously thought. We also know that the quake area has experienced a, quote, ground uplift, according to the University of Utah, since August last year. And although the Yellowstone supervolcano hasn't erupted for 640,000 years, quite a safe time distance, Scientists know that it will erupt again, and each earthquake that occurs makes that scenario more likely to happen. And as Michael Snyder documents in his article today, if it was to erupt, it would be up to 1,000 times more powerful than the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980, spewing volcanic ash 25 miles up into the air, causing absolute devastation and virtually wiping out the entire northwest United States. And globally speaking, such an event would also be cataclysmic, causing a volcanic winter that could radically cool the planet by causing global temperatures to decline by up to 20 degrees. So we're talking about a complete doomsday meltdown event. The good news is that it's very unlikely to happen, and even if it is to happen, we're going to get some notice ahead of time because scientists are monitoring the pressure of the underground magma beneath Yellowstone National Park. So while videos of bison appearing to frantically flee from the scene of Yellowstone may be good for doomsday apocalyptic style viral YouTube videos, they don't really tell us much about the real genuine threat of a supervolcano eruption which, although a genuine concern, remains a very unrealistic probability. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for InfoWars.com.